Hi, it's Chrissy here again with the fifth and final video as a part of reintegration with military kids, children who have a service member who's coming back from deployment. So I have all of these reintegration tips in a handout and I would encourage you to reach out to us because there's a few additional ones on the handout. But let's go through these um, briefly. First one is honor where your child is developmentally and where they are in their age and stage. So if you have a child who has additional health and well-being concerns, that will add an additional constraint to it. But don't expect a five-year-old to do what your eight-year-old can do. That will only frustrate the child and make it so that they are less compliant. So honor where they are, find um, books, find and activities, um, find responsibilities that fit within that age bracket and don't frustrate the child by, do, by making them or forcing them to do something that they are not developmentally ready to do. Make sure you let the parent who is coming back know about any changes in rules, routines, or things that are happening in the home. Always appreciate your child's contributions. Appreciate when your child tries. Don't only encourage and appreciate a child when they accomplish something. Let them know that they tried and that trying is good. Sometimes it takes multiple tries for adults to learn something. Right now we are waiting for something to happen with a, a cure for this um, pandemic. And I bet there are a lot of failed attempts and one of those attempts will be a success. So we wanna encourage effort and, and um, trying rather than just success. We want to also keep routines normal for children that will, um, that will help them feel more stable in a changing environment. And we wanna make sure that we allow the partner to have a say in the new changes that are happening in the house. Um, Celebrate your growth and realize that change is the only constant in life. Change is a part of life. Um, everyone needs to adapt. It's a part of survival. So we really want to celebrate that. Um, make sure that you are expressing as adults, I feelings and sharing your feelings. That way your child will be more comfortable sharing their feelings. You'll never actually get to the root of the problem if your child isn't regularly um, comfortable expressing their feelings and their emotions, even if they're negative, right? Discuss changes as a family, sit down, implement if you haven't already a family meeting, okay? Um, they don't need to be long and drawn out. They don't need to be those two hour meetings that people have um, in corporations or in the military. A very short five minute, here's the plan of the day, here's what we're doing, um, here's, here's some of the problems that I see and this is what I would like to change. Your child can actually have some really interesting um, suggestions. If you haven't tried this already, try this with your child. I have asked my child once before, I have, because we parents talk at kids a lot, right? We, we feel like, hey, I know it, I have it all, I'm the disciplinarian, I'm the parent, get it together. I have a couple of times when I've caught my child misbehaving, I have actually asked them what their, um, what their punishment should be. And it's not always the case, but a few times their punishment was much more harsh than what I would have actually given them as a punishment. So I, I try this with your child, you know, say, what went wrong? Um, why did you do that? Uh, what were you, you know, what, what did you think would happen when you did that? And uh, what should your punishment be? Um, this is, of course, for older children who have the ability to process this, but um, have them be a part of this as well. Patience is really important with any kind of change. And then realize that the only thing your child really needs is love. That's the one thing that they absolutely need. Yes, they need water and food and shelter, but children thrive on love and they will feel and be able to go through life changes easier if they feel loved and supported. All right, so the last thing I have is that if you have a child younger than the age of four, know that you can reach out to New Parent Support for additional help. Um, new Parent Support has altered their services um, to still work with clients during the global pandemic. 
Um, but this is a great resource. It's like the Navy's little fairy godmother. Um, I, as a new parent, was spending a lot of time Googling. Um, I would Google everything that my baby did. And um, Google will tell you that it's nothing and they'll also tell you that your child has cancer for almost everything that you're concerned about. So uh, new parent support is great because they are educated um, child care experts and they can help you understand your child's ages and stages, um, some discipline techniques, sleep strategies, um, baby proofing, all of those questions that you might have, they can help out along the way. So I wanna close by just saying, really congratulate your child and pat yourself on the back for making it this far. I don't know of another Navy world where the people have been welcoming a sailor back um, during a global pandemic and have had to survive with that much change. So pat yourself on the back. You've done a good job. You've, um, you have dealt and ad survived and adapted, and that's fantastic. So if you want any of those additional handouts or resources, please reach out to Centralized Scheduling. We can get you set up. If you have just general comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to call us. We're operating during our normal business hours right now. We're closed on weekends, um, but they can get you in contact with someone who can provide you with an additional resource or referral um, for your concern. So thanks for spending your time with us. Hug those little military kids. They're going through a lot right now, um, but we appreciate your time and your attention and we'll look forward to seeing you all again when we can all have our regular in-person services. Thank you, bye.